If you guys are playing Track and Field Infinite and you want to change your keybind to your mouse, by the way, this makes you run a lot more faster on computer and I highly recommend you following this video and doing what I do because honestly, it will help you out a lot. So I guess if you don't have a controller, you can probably use your mouse to actually run in the game because you can actually move a lot more better with this method and you can run faster. But yeah, as you can obviously see right now, I am running with my mouse, guys, and I'm going to be showing you how to do the same. So this is what you need to do. What you need to do is type in X mouse button control on Google. Go ahead, go to this, go to latest version. And when you go to latest version, obviously go ahead and download it. Once you do download it, open it up. And as you can see, let me explain what you need to do. So when I use my mouse, look, left button mouse, when I click my left button mouse, that does show. When I click right button mouse, that shows. Middle button mouse, mouse button 4 and 5, I've got side buttons on my mouse. And if I do press them, you can see, look, look at how fast I can click these, it's right, in, it's so easy. Mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, then tilt, wheel left, I don't know how to do that, but... Wait, can I do that? No, I can't. But yeah, as you can obviously see, this is what you need to do. So if you want to change your left and right button mouse, so do you know when you click? If you want to make it, so when you run in, you have to click like that. By the way, you can get an auto clicker. And then with the auto clicker, you can... If you change this to your keybind, guys, let me show you how to do it. So if you do this, guys, so left button mouse, what you want to do is change it to a keyboard button. So what you need to do for that is this. What you want to do is click the specific button mouse that you want to change. Um, and then what you want to do, guys, is stimulate keys. And then, as you can obviously see, you want to put the key in. So if you do scroll through, guys, there's loads of keys that you can choose from, as you can obviously see. And you want to pretty much choose a key, guys. So I want it to be Q. So let's click OK. So stimulated keys Q. And I'm going to click Apply. And let's see if it works. Okay, it's not working. Let's see if I can actually get this to work, guys. There we go, guys. So I just got it to work. So what you want to do is this. So when you click stimulated keys, make sure you put Enter Custom Keys at the top. So I'll put Q at the top. I put in the description because I'm really stupid, alright, but yeah, enter custom keys, I put Q, and then what you want to do in the other one is custom key, and then you want to put uh, stimulated keys, let's put as E, click OK, apply, so now when I press these mouse buttons, this is what will happen, look, it's actually working guys, look at that, um, can you hear, this is proof, I'm literally clicking with buttons on my mouse guys, and I'm running, so yeah. As you can obviously see, you've had how to do it. Make sure you get this, guys. It's really overpowered. I can't believe you can actually do that, but yeah, thank you for watching.